नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते ऑल वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच वी थ्री वी आर कमिंग टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ यू एच वी थ्री इन फैक्ट येस्टरडे वी स्टार्टेड विद द सम before we go forward with the sum up we had also given some points for self reflection for all of us to look at where we stand how we are doing so if we can just um go back to the reflection point what we said was that we are to observe all the important decisions we are making and try to find out which activity of the self is primarily responsible for these decisions that means where is the motivation for these decisions coming from is it coming from somewhere outside is it you know some preconditioning is it sensation which is driving my decision or is it something related to my higher activities so you will find that throughout the day we keep making many decisions small decisions we always have you know there are important decisions there are small decisions there are big decisions but we are always deciding choosing what to do so the whole point is is the motivation for this coming from within or is it coming from outside that question that we asked right in the very beginning is happiness for me my innate nature or is it something that i am seeking from outside this is a very profound question and should not be taken lightly until and unless we explore deeply within we will miss the significance of this so if anybody would like to share their observations regarding this reflection point we'll take it now namaskar madam namaskar to all actually yesterday i decided uh, your question uh, our question is observe all the important decisions uh, important decisions are what i have uh, what i took yesterday i used to finish my uh, assignments of uh, our college uh, which i did not finish also because uh, my regular works uh, they took more time i planned but uh, uh, some of the works uh, they took uh, more time so actually what i basically thought basically i i am always happy being happy i have to do all those things that is my actually decision madam so uh, we we can rightly evaluate uh, uh, from this uh, observation we can rightly evaluate on current status of the self uh, means how you evaluate please uh, tell madam yeah we are talking about something more than this mm mm-hmm. yeah yeah like um let's take a simple example oh madam hmm? something that is very easy to relate to we take these small decisions every day hmm? yeah madam something tasty has been made or i am going to the market and i happen to ah. see something yes madam all those things i did eh? what uh, those decisions also i have taken because uh, going to market uh, to take my son from my uh, from his hostel uh, all those also i have Let done also what i am trying to say no. see yeah. until and unless you hear the full thing how do you know what i am talking about really really <laughs> let me finish what i am saying i am sorry madam so, um 
so you go to the market and you happen to you know see you are going for some other purpose you happen to see a sweet shop and you are um you think of some sweet that you like the taste of now you decide to go in there and take the sweet okay this is a decision we have to make no yeah it's yeah really decision, but it's a decision mm. like this you will notice that every day hundreds and thousands of time a day we are making decisions we are deciding to do this not to do this to do that not to do that what to do at this time what to do at next time all this we are choosing so like in this case i came out to the market for some purpose to buy something in particular <clears throat> but i got sidetracked by this sweet shop that i saw and i thought okay why not stop and have some sweet yeah nothing wrong with that yeah I'm, many many times happen <laughs> yeah i'm just saying that here you know what i set out to do in the market mm. that purpose is no longer my focus my focus has shifted to let me eat the sweet mm. or if you take another example we go to the market to buy something particular mm. and we see something else our focus is shifted we are sitting down and working in you know on the computer we are doing some work we have to go on to the internet to do something hmm. on the internet we see some video or something which looks interesting hmm. focus has shifted yeah we decide to leave this ultimately we are deciding no we are choosing all these decisions we are making so yeah. we choose to leave the work for now and to see what is this video saying i get interested in knowing or maybe some film star they are talking about and something so you get curious let me see and these videos they will make with very you know catchy titles oh yeah so that <laughs> it catches your interest yeah yeah and your focus has shifted the purpose is forgotten and i have shifted focus to something that i think may be pleasurable even though we don't think of it as pleasure pleasure but ultimately this is what we do no mm, madam i'm saying particularly for you i'm saying in general in general yeah, yeah i can understand so like that we make many decisions huh? yeah yeah madam so now we have to look at all our decisions and try to see very sincerely see if we just casually say okay yesterday one incident i find yes i did the right thing i took the decision properly mm-hmm. and then my self exploration gets subdued because i think okay i am on the right track i know what mm-hmm. i am doing i am doing the right thing but if you look at these small decisions the whole day we are making mm-hmm. hundreds and thousands of times somebody yeah. in the office that i dislike and i have to go to the office and meet some people and i decide okay i'll meet the others i won't meet this one this is a choice i'm making this is a yeah. decision i have made so what is my basis for that where is this drive coming from so in this case you will see it is that i don't get a favorable feeling from this person so i will avoid this person mm-hmm. now this is from outside i am trying to get the feeling right feeling from outside when i do i think it will lead to happiness so i avoid this person now this decision i made based on outside 
it's nothing to do with my inner awakening mm -hmm. but if i am awakening to the higher activities say to contemplation and i am seeing the relationship then i will be able to see my relationship even with that person yeah who is not giving me the right feeling i'll be able to see that i am related to everyone including that person yeah being sure of my feeling of relationship now i will see how to help that person so you see how everything changes based on our perspective based on where we are looking from so that was the question so it's a very profound question uh, you know one odd incident we may be able to share but this is something we have to reflect on a deeper level really madam in a lot of time yeah it takes more time uh, so that and it is just been put so that at least we become aware of these kind of you know these are just trigger points yeah yeah These reflection points that we give what i would suggest is we put down all these reflection points and if we go through one by one every day our self exploration can go at a much faster pace really so that, that is the idea of the self reflection points yeah we can see that you know many improvements we may be able to see in ourselves from yeah. before till now really madam yeah so when we do our sharing now sharing is coming up yeah yeah after we close this this mm -hmm. session then there will be sharing so you can put your date for sharing and you know put it down the points will be shared i think today so yeah. you can put it down as per the points mm -hmm. and um if we write down our sharing we yeah, are yeah. able like better every day i note down madam but uh, yeah. the questions i am noting down truly speaking every day questions i i have opened a file and uh, all the questions are there in my file but some answers only are there in it because some yeah. only i entered so some i try to fill it mm. that's good that's very good because now when you have all these questions put down Madam. you can always go back to them yeah yeah reflect on them and these will be helpful even when we do the next round when we do the exercises again yeah madam exercise 1 and 2 during that period also if you look at these yeah. questions it will give you another um, point uh, you know of exploration within yourself yeah 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 that's very good that's nice to hear and i have the answers also daily that is the reason why so as to be in uh, linking be in follow up that's why i'm trying to say something uh, <laughs> <laughs> that that is one of the reasons right. and uh, uh, otherwise if you lose connectivity madam the, the flow will be missed yes uh, and uh, first of all i see that and then i improve my quality otherwise right. the connectivity may be lost uh, like that and uh, in this question also today's question also madam i have many things to share but uh, due to lack of time just yeah. i briefed it each and every incident i want to share yesterday's incidents also mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it, it will take more time that's why i don't want to share nice nice thank you so thank, thank you madam thank you uh, and just now i want to add Uh, from this observation we can rightly evaluate our current status of the self you added that's very much right madam mm -hmm. because whatever we observe that that it, whatever we decide whatever we aim that indicates our uh, state definitely yes mm -hmm. madam true true okay thank madam, you thank you madam thank you thank you um yeah namaste didi hello जी नमस्ते नमस्ते जी नमस्ते सभी को एक्चुअली रिगार्डिंग दिस क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैड फॉर रिफ्लेक्शन यस्टरडे आई कुड ऑब्जर्व दैट देर आर मेनी डिसीजंस दैट वी मेक सिंस इट वाज अ संडे सो देर वर मेनी थिंग्स दैट आई हैड टू डू बट मोस्ट ऑफ द डिसीजंस दे वर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस बी टू ब्लॉक ओनली 
Mm-hmm. But one thing that I could observe in all those decisions is that somewhere understanding was there when I was deciding, for example, for breakfast, what we will cook for breakfast. So this, it was not only for select the taste purpose. Mm. So, so because of the little understanding that I have, other things were also there. And then we, so whether we will go out or we will stay at home and other household things, talking to people, because we, generally I talk to many people on Sundays because on weekdays everybody is working, so it's not possible connecting to most of them. So many decisions we take based on the B2 block only. But yes, there is this right understanding also. So the response now there is a response because in some cases earlier it was a reaction, but because of the understanding, maybe the, there is no reaction these days. One thing that I that is disturbing me these days, Didi, that I know that my happiness depends on myself only. So certain times I just don't feel like talking to someone. I just feel like to be alone not talking to people so this i am very social kind of person i never felt like this but now very you know, many times it happens that i feel like you know, sitting alone not talking to people mm-hmm. so is it okay it depends on what exactly your feeling is if you are getting disturbed okay. with this then perhaps we are Avoiding something and, you know. No, I am not disturbed. I am happy. Ah. But then later on, when I think about it, that, oh, I did not talk. Then I feel why I was not talking. Because I did not feel, earlier I had that urge to talk or I wanted to talk. But now I feel that even if I don't talk, I am okay. Then why to talk? This is the thing. Now, see, when we are say when you say when we are talking now talking by itself is not the important part see we could be talking and gossiping about somebody else no no i mean communicating no no i'm just saying okay so um at some point when we start reflecting on these things we see that you know a lot of times we are busy with ourselves only we may not feel the need to communicate or express what we are feeling to the other. No? Unless, yes. so we have, say, you know, um, unless there is a purpose in expressing. So if I want to express my feeling of relationship to the other, then I will choose to express it. But if I am just busy with you know, some other reflection within myself, I may not feel the need to communicate anything. So yes. communication has its significance, but we don't keep communicating all the time. We don't keep talking all the time. So many people find this that we used to talk a lot and we used to feel the need to talk a lot. Now that need is not so much there because we are comfortable within ourselves. Earlier, we may not have been comfortable with ourselves. So we are constantly looking outside. You will find many people are very restless, flicking channels, going on the internet, changing from one to the other to see things, different things, um, shifting from one activity to another activity because you are restless. And whenever you have free time, you might become, okay, now let's go somewhere. Let's meet somebody. Let's go chat with someone. Now that need may not be felt because now I'm comfortable within myself and I don't feel the need to constantly be with someone or express myself and hear something from the other. I'm okay within myself. I'm comfortable within So that is a positive thing. So that's why I said more important than whether we talk or don't talk is 
how we are feeling with them yes yeah i am comfortable I be, yeah i could be resentful about somebody's behavior and therefore not talking to them in which case i have a feeling of opposition within myself no yeah, so not no. talking can have different you know in the activities it may look the same from outside when you are saying not talking it may seem i may perceive it as something but ultimately it depends we have to check inside what is our feeling that is our guide yeah? yes yeah but i am comfortable so this That's i can right. feel that i am comfortable even if i am not meeting people or not talking to them and even if i am meeting and not talking much then also i am comfortable mm -hmm. i just listen to what others are saying mm -hmm. and i am just comfortable yeah that's a very important quality yeah. listening what we often do is when somebody is talking we are busy with our own thoughts so we interrupt and we keep saying something but when we are busy with our own thoughts we are not listening to that person properly isn't it then we miss yes. point so yes, it happens yes. many times that we go through a lecture and the person who is talking in the lecture or who is giving he is giving the lecture may have mentioned several points and we miss those points because at that moment instead of listening we are thinking something else yes yes mm -hmm. yeah so actually listening is a very good quality yeah. thank you didi thank you okay we'll go forward um we yesterday we were talking about the sum up so in the sum up i'll just quickly go over what we were trying to do is in this whole uhv3 we were trying to look at the human being and nature and existence in a comprehensive manner so for that you can look at it from the perspective of the self that in the self within the human being we want continuous happiness and we said this is a need of the self and for this how we can have this continuous happiness is through right understanding and right feeling which are activities of the self and this we spoke of as resolution and in that resolution we spoke of all the different points no um starting from seeing the reality that is right understanding to the wisdom having clarity of our goal to the science of how to fulfill that goal and then bringing it in our expression through our behavior with other human beings through our work with nature and our participation in the larger order till we have the final outcome of an undivided society a universal human order and human tradition that would be the completeness of the resolution so to be able to see now within the self if we could see this so when we are looking at the human being and we are seeing the self now the self is central to our existence as a human being because the body is just being used like a tool by the self for its own purpose so i can see that my need is for happiness and i can get happiness even if i don't have completeness of understanding if i can see the feeling within myself i am able to see that when i have a feeling that is naturally acceptable i feel comfortable with it so i my need for happiness is being fulfilled from within myself by my own feeling so like this we may be able to see that in fact the need of the self is totally and fully um can be satisfied or fulfilled by the activity of the self 
it doesn't have much to do with the outside but whatever happiness we keep trying to get from outside often we are doing it because somewhere we may have presumed that we are the body that belief is so strong that even though we have all this information we are working with this information yet that belief that sanskar keeps coming into our desires and uh, motivating our desires off and on that's why that point on decision making so how do we change that how do we get to right understanding we said it is through the process of awakening to these higher activities within ourselves higher activities of contemplation understanding and realization so we said that you know when we are doing this it is through the self that we are able to get the knowledge of the human being and the existence and our role in this existence so as we are awakening to the higher activities from there through the self itself we are able to get this knowledge the knowledge of the self i can get through the self knowledge of the human being the knowledge of the existence also i can get through the self and seeing my role in the existence that also becomes clear when i start awakening to the higher activities so this is what is being referred to as self development an unfolding of these higher activities within us and we looked at this transformation that happens so earlier i may have been fully uh, you know all my imagination may have been motivated by the outside by preconditioning by sensation but even at that time if i refer to my natural acceptance i will be able to see to know we have this potential to awaken to these higher activities <clears throat> so with that <coughs> earlier i may have been unhappy many a time in my behavior with others i may have been reactive many a time in my work i may have felt i don't have sufficient i have to work more so that i get more i keep feeling that i am not prosperous i feel deprived and i may have been creating lot of problems in society in fact if you see if i am not part of the solution then i am really part of the problem isn't it so i may have been complaining about others and mostly no either leading to more chaos or just ignoring whatever is there and complaining about it but as i awaken to contemplation now more and more in my interaction with others i can see the happiness there because i can see my relatedness i can have the right feeling when i am working with nature sometimes i feel prosperous because i can see my relationship with nature i can see my relationship with the body but sometimes i still slip into that deprivation mode because i am not fully there there and in my participation sometimes i am still contributing to the chaos the disorder and sometimes i am able to see my part then as i awaken to understanding now more and more i am able to be in the state of happiness 
when I interact with other human beings. Occasionally, I might slip back into unhappiness. Occasionally, I might react. But largely, I may be able to be in that state of happiness. When I am working with nature, mostly I may feel prosperous. Occasionally, there may be at times I may feel I need more. But largely, I feel prosperous. And mostly, I am contributing to order in my participation. So you'll notice that in all of this, what is happening is our movement towards feelings that are naturally acceptable to us is happening. So we are spending more and more time in that comfort within. When we are comfortable within, when we are comfortable with ourselves, then we don't feel that urge, that need to go and meet with people to go and talk to people, to go and um, interact with people. We do it as and when it is required, but there is no urge to do that separately because we are content in ourselves. But it is only when we um, get to the highest activity of realization that's when it all falls in place. That's when it becomes certain, definite for us. Then I can say, I know. Because then I can see the space, I can see directly the units submerged in space. And now in my behavior with others, there is continuous happiness. So I have ensured my feeling within, and with that, I'm interacting with the other. Not that I am interacting with the other for my happiness. Now you can see the difference. Earlier, I may have been going out to talk to people for happiness because there is a void inside me. I feel the need to go out, meet with people, talk to people. Otherwise, I start feeling low. So inside me, my feeling is, was not ensured. Now when my feeling is ensured, I don't feel that urge, that need to go and talk to people, to meet people. But at the same time, I also have concern for the other. So wherever it is required, I do go, I do talk to people, whoever it may be. And it is with that feeling ensured in me, being able to see my relatedness with all, I do what I feel is right to do without having that uh, quest for happiness joined to it because I am already happy with them. With that happiness, I go and do my work, uh, my interaction. In my work with nature, I always have this feeling of prosperity because I can see that I have more than enough. And in my participation, I am always contributing to order. So this is what we were saying. Next slide. So now you'll see that on the one hand, we are working for realization within us, within the self, working to awaken to these higher activities one by one within us. And on the other end, we are working for the expression outside or we are participating in our expression outside. So expression outside in terms of interacting with other human beings so that there can be mutual happiness. Doing work with the nature so that there can be mutual prosperity and participating in the larger order with that view to fulfilling the human goal. So on the one hand, we are working for realization within. On the other hand, we are working for the expression of this, the effect of this within us, outside, so that ultimately we can have an undivided human society and a universal human order. Next slide.
we also saw how <coughs> when we understand things the way they are and we are clear about our goal then we can see how to go about that goal so if we split it down into points then we said you know firstly to have that clarity of how the existence is no that right understanding that what we are saying seeing the existence as coexistence so we call that 3.1 then having the clarity of my role my participation i have to do in this 3.2 then going further now bringing thinking about how i am going to do with this yes i have been able to see what it is like i can see the goal i can see what is my role but now how do i actually go about it this at the level of thought at the level of desire thought expectation this i work in, work out the details and then i express it outside as 3.4 5 and 6 behavior work and participation ultimately leading to undivided human society universal human order and human tradition and in all of this the outcome is mutual happiness mutual prosperity and fulfillment of the human goal yes if there's anything that uh, is urgent we can raise the hand and ask a question but i think this is pretty straightforward we've already gone through all this we're just summing up next slide so now with that you know knowledge of all of this now we can work with understanding the existence this is what we said so we we were able to see that or at least we were able to get the information that the existence is in the form of coexistence in the form of units that are submerged in space and we said three things about the existence that it is ever present it is ever effective and it is ever expressive so what does that mean ever present means this coexistence was there before it is there now it will be there it is there in all time in all space in all areas there is nowhere that you will not see this coexistence so it is ever present and being in space in this coexistence every unit is energized every unit is self organized and every unit is recognizing its relationship with other units and fulfilling it this we said then we also said that it is ever effective that means every reality is included in this from the smallest atom to the largest unit that you can think of everything is under this principle of coexistence so this is effective in every unit so that is what we meant by it is ever effective then it is also ever expressive that means that this is expressing itself in the form of what we call the four orders in nature so that is just an outcome that is an expression of the coexistence so we see it in the form of the physical order the bio order the animal order the human order and you can see how there is a gradual evolution or a gradual um transition from a um from this you know the progression from the physical order to the bio order to the animal order to the human order next slide and we saw this in the details of the 
you know, chart that we saw of nature of the four orders, the submergence, their innateness, innateness meaning their self-organization, the natural characteristic or their participation, that every unit is participating, every unit is active, and so on. We'll not go into the details because we already did this several times in a lot of detail. Next slide. So now you will be able to see how every other order in this coexistence is already doing what it is supposed to do. So if you see the physical order, the bio order, the animal order, they are already having this, you know, whatever they are to do in this coexistence, they are already doing it. They are active, they are self-organized, they are recognizing their relationship and fulfilling that relationship. What is left? What is left is only the human order. The human order is still not able to see you know, the role properly or how it is supposed to be living in coexistence, that clarity is not there in the human order. So once that clarity happens, then the human order can also be fulfilling for the rest of the order. And that is possible through awakening to the higher activities. Next slide. So you can see the picture gets complete when the self awakens to the higher activities. So ultimately when we say human order, in the human order we are talking about human being. In the human being we are really talking about the self. If you see the whole thing is about the self because within the self is where I am going to get this, all this knowledge. How do I get this knowledge? It is through awakening to the higher activities. These higher activities are within myself. I just need to awaken to them. I just need to have them unfold within me. And this development within me is not cyclic. Unlike what um, you know, the physical order, the bio order, where things are cyclic. There is a composition, there is a decomposition, things are formed, things are breaking down, going back to the you know, same state, and so on. In this part, once the awakening starts, once we start awakening to the higher activities, from there on, the development is not cyclic. So if I have awakened to contemplation, I am able to see my participation. That will stay with me. And from there, I will work for understanding. When I work for understanding, and I am able to understand the harmony, I am able to see the harmony, then that part, is now definite in me. I don't fall back. And in fact, I have the inspiration to see or I have the motivation to see how this is happening. And so I look for, I have a need to look at the coexistence to be able to directly see. So I work for realization. And ultimately, I am able to see the coexistence, the way it is. So once realized, I don't fall back and start back from scratch. This continues. This development is not cycle. It is linear. Next slide. So from this, now we can have some conclusions we can make based on what we have said so far. The conclusions that we can draw is 
this reality of the human being is a coexistence of self and body that is one important conclusion it's not just the body it is a coexistence of self and body next important conclusion we made is that self is central to human existence as a human being it is the self that is significant for me the body i am using as a tool as an instrument third point we said which is of significance is that i or the self has a need for continuous happiness and i can fulfill this need my need for continuous happiness by right understanding and right feeling and thought within myself so there is a need in the self it is fulfilled by from within the self then we looked at the existence and we said it is in the form of coexistence which is in the form of units that are submerged in space we said it, the coexistence is ever present ever effective ever expressive and the expression of this coexistence we see in the form of nature so we talked of the four orders in nature and all of this how can we understand we can understand it by awakening to the activities of the self so when we awaken to the higher activities our lower activities are now brought in line with the higher activities and on this basis we are able to understand not just the human being not just the existence nature but also our role as a human being in this existence or our conduct so that is how we came to these conclusions next slide so what is the essence of this so self is central to my existence as a human being and if we look at the existence who existence is central to the existence in this entire existence this pattern of coexistence is what is what is there you know for every unit we can see this or at least we can at the level of thought we can appreciate this so therefore it becomes imperative that as a human being i must understand this coexistence and only when i have the feeling and thought of coexistence at the level of self will i be happy and that is a need that i have i need to fulfill that need and when i can understand this when i can understand the coexistence when i can have the feeling and thought of coexistence all the time within me then it will be a natural expression outside through the body by way of living in coexistence next slide so how would we see this so ultimately we have to understand the coexistence which is we have termed right understanding then with that understanding we have to ensure the feeling and thought of coexistence so that we can be resolved we can have a resolution within with that understanding within with that right feeling and thought within now in our expression when we go to interact with other human beings when we go to interact with nature now we live in this coexistence this is a natural outcome this is a natural expression of that 
and if i am i am living in coexistence i am seeing my relationship with other human beings i am seeing my relationship with all human beings then ultimately we are working for this undivided society when i am seeing my harmony when i am seeing the harmony in nature when i am seeing my role in this harmony in nature then i am working for the universal human order so ultimately we will find that this pattern in coexistence in this existence is one of coexistence and with this coexistence we can see that there is harmony there is relationship between all the units therefore when this is reflected in us in the form of the natural acceptance we have this natural acceptance for a feeling of relationship for a feeling of harmony for a feeling of coexistence because that is how it is and that is how i need to be in order to be happy next slide so ultimately what do we have to do we have to understand the coexistence we have to live in coexistence two small statements very profound and takes some effort some doing will take time but at least we know where we have to reach so in place of coexistence we can also say that i need to live in coexistence in harmony and relationship and for that how to go about it this is what we are trying to do and we talked about it in exercise 1 and 2 in a lot of detail but we'll do a brief recap of that also in the second sum up which has to do with the some up of the exercise part the practical part but if we work on ourselves through the exercises we can see more and more and this unfolding of the higher activities will start happening slowly within us of course the exercises are one way there could be other ways but we are talking about the exercises so this is one way of being able to understand things being able to see the existence the human being directly and being able to see our role in all of this next slide so if you look at this one way is we are working from down up we said we are working we are starting from the lower activities and going up to the higher activity but once we have reached the top when we reach the top and we are at the level of realization when we are able to see the coexistence the way things are with that now <coughs> it becomes clear to me what my role is it becomes clear to me that all my lower activities now need to come in line with this so i am able to see the authentication in this i am able to see okay that's how this everything is the way it is and so i am able to put in all the pieces whatever patchy stuff i had been able to see when i was moving up once i reach the top and i look down everything becomes so crystal clear that that's how this whole pattern is and so it is there is no shred of doubt about my role so my desire becomes to be with this my desire becomes to live in coexistence 
my desire becomes to be in relationship to participate to work for this undivided human society and universal human order and ultimately all my lower activities fall in line with this desire and it is evident in my expression outside i think we have come to the end is there more than this okay so this is essentially the same thing how you know this whole content all this resolving resolution within the self how it is connecting to our conduct ultimately we said definiteness in human conduct so once i see this definiteness in the existence once i understand how definite everything is in the existence in nature and i am able to see my role then as a natural expression i work for this as i have the desire to be with this coexistence to live in coexistence as i have the thought for this i work out the details of how to go about it and then i bring it in my expression with other human beings with nature with the help of the body so then i work for this undivided human society and a universal human order and building this human tradition this is how my conduct becomes definite once i have the knowledge with it i guess this is the last slide then yeah so i think you know um with all of this there is a lot of reflection to be done the more we reflect the more we'll be able to see where we stand and of course that clarity of where we have to reach may have come but we'll be able to see how much work we need to put in how much effort we need to put in where exactly we are if we make a sincere effort to see we may be able to see that from where we started we we can probably see that we may have come a long way from where we first started and then when we look ahead to where we have to go we'll see that there is still a lot of work to be done a lot of effort to be made and we need to work for it so everybody has been very quiet although this was a sum up so it is all i think things that we have talked about but if anybody has any observation or question we can take it it's very briefly there is maybe couple of minutes more oh yes. madam uh, could you please uh, make it clear in the previous slide self is central to human existence that is okay and uh, coexistence is central to existence means uh, existence of all the four orders na existence already is ah uh, there meaning every unit in this existence is in the form of coexistence ha uh ha -huh. so now when this coexistence is expressing itself hmm. we see it in the form of nature Nature. No, sure. Okay, okay. In nature, we have all these what we have classified as four orders. Mm hmm. So this classification we have done for our benefit yeah, to yeah. be able to study it. Mm hmm. Isn't it? But you can see that there is a natural progression. Yeah. From the physical order to the bio order to the animal order to the human order. Yeah, yeah. So the expression. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are all expressions of that coexistence. Yeah, But expression in different levels. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, ultimately every unit is in coexistence. Okay, okay, cleared, madam. So coexistence is central to this existence. Mm -hmm. This is the meaning. Yeah. Thank you, madam. Thank you.
so we'll stop here reflect on it i'll put some assignment in the group also and tomorrow we'll take up the sum up of the exercise